We'll get up here, horse around a little bit, maybe see some bears. Okay, good morning. It's uh, Friday morning. So happy post Thanksgiving. Um, we started out kind of a lazy morning this morning and then we hopped in the car. Got Sandra with me this morning. And we got Cameron with me this morning. And uh, we're out in uh, Santa Anita Canyon walking along the road up to the trailheads at Chantry Flats. Uh, it's a gorgeous day. It's quite warm um, and uh, a lot of people, you'll see cars going whipping by me as we walk along the road. So this is kind of uh, part two of the micro adventure this weekend, Chantry Flats. We'll get up here, horse around a little bit, maybe see some bears and uh, yeah, have some fun. I got my coffee with me this morning, we're ready to go. This man is all about getting rid of the evil man. Send them away, send them out of your cabin forever. <laughs> Well, I think that's actually a good thing. Okay, so uh, we're at the Adams Pack Station, which uh, here, I'll get it in the background. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, Adams Pack Station's been here for uh, a long time. Can see the donkey up there? Um, my wife is pointing out donkeys. Um, so Adams Pack Station is up here in Santa Anita Canyon, and what they do is uh, there's a community up here and they um, they pack food in on mules into the community up here. They've been around for a long, long time. Um, I'll probably add a link or something to the website so that you guys can learn more about it. But that's one of the cool things up here is the pack station. So that's where we are now, and uh, kind of get a 360-degree view of the pack station. <laughs> I don't know that you guys are going to be able to see that because it's kind of a ways down there, but uh, we are on our way down that hill, which is supposed to be a um, supposed to be a waterfall down there. So um, I don't know what the name of the trail is that we're on, um, but uh, it's nice and shady, which is nice. <clears throat> it's not as uh, it's not as crowded as the other trail is. And, um, you know, it's, it's steep on ends. Here, I'll give you a look. You guys can kind of see how steep it is off to the side. Um, the trail's about two to three feet wide, maybe a little bit wider in some spots. I don't know if you can see my wife duck around that corner just now. But, um, yeah, so it's, it was really crowded up around the pack station and now it's um, not so much because we're on this trail but it's, it's beautiful in the shade and very hot in the sun which is where I am now so we'll, uh, we'll 
we'll just keep moving along and we'll get to the waterfall and then I'll show you the waterfall. I showed you where the water is and uh, as you can see there's some there's some really cool cabins down here um, I think these are all private cabins um, so you'd have to know the owner in order to rent them out there is uh, there is a lodge up here somewhere um, that is for rent you can rent it for you can rent the cottage I think there's bigger rooms you can have big parties up here things like that but um, here I'll, I'll show you you can see down here how just absolutely beautiful this area is uh, underneath the canopy of the oak trees and uh, it's it's nice and cool so um, you know which makes it really nice and um, we just got done hanging out and meeting some really cool people on the trail here with their dog who were playing in the water and now we're gonna do a little bit more exploring hey there you want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. Are you enjoying your hike? I'm loving it. This view is pretty awesome. Hey. The stream going down over there. So how were those cabins? Pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, pretty cool. Not a bad day, not too hot, right? It's beautiful in the shade. You want to go for a swim? Yeah, you want to take a swan dive down there? No thanks. Just had to make sure we were recording. You can be in the way. You want to, you want to at least just wave and say hi to everybody? I'm with Cameron, the dog is down there. Okay. okay. So, um, alright, so this is... This may be our turnaround point. We'll see. Um, we've been gone about an hour and a half or so. Um, I'll show you around where we are. Um, but it's just an incredible hike, Santa Anita Canyon. Let me um, let me show you. I don't know if you can see that dog down there swimming in the pool. It's the same dog you filmed before. Hey. 
and uh, you know he's got some rocks. He's uh, got a sock up into the canyon. That's the direction we came from. And if you look all the way up there, right about here, <clears throat> that's the road where we parked the car. So it's going to be a long way back. It's going to be a long way back. Um, this hike is probably 15 or 20 minutes from the urban sprawl of the greater Los Angeles area. It's a short drive in. Um, you'll need an adventure pass to park, which for the day cost you five bucks, for the year cost you 30. Um, obviously it's very popular. There's a lot of people on the trail, a lot of dogs on the trail. And it's amazing that you can get this kind of landscape so close to a big city like Los Angeles. So if you're in California and you get a chance, come up to Santa Anita Canyon to Chantry Flats and have yourself a little micro-adventure. We're going to be heading up soon. I'll see you later.